getting to know the world's greatest artists. Michelangelo by Mike Venezia. Michelangelo Boronati was born near France, Italy in 1475 during a time known as the Renaissance. Many people think he was the greatest artist who ever lived. Michelangelo was a master of architecture, painting, and poetry, but his favorite art was making statues of people. Michelangelo sculpted many of his statues from big blocks of marble. He chipped away at the marble with a hammer and chisel until he got it the way he liked. The unfinished statue of St. Matthew shows how Michelangelo started one of his statues. Michelangelo made his statues look very lifelike. Sometimes he would polish them so they look smooth and shiny. But sometimes Michelangelo would leave chiseled marks. The marks help give his statue shape and a feeling of being alive when they were viewed from a distance. When Michelangelo was born, his mother may have been too ill to take care of him. His father took him to live with a family of stone cutters. When he grew up, Michelangelo joked that this was the reason he loved to cut away at stone so much. Michelangelo lived in just the right place and at just the right time. In the 1400s and 1500s, people in Florence were very interested in architecture, painting, poetry, and sculpture. When Michelangelo was 13, he learned a lot about art by just walking through the streets of Florence on his way to the school and workshop of Florence's most popular artist, Domenico Ghirlandu. Michelangelo loved the paintings of Giotto and Masaccio that he saw on the walls of the churches in Florence. He admired the sculptures of Donatello and Ghiberti. These artists lived and worked in Florence before Michelangelo was born. Michelangelo learned a lot on his own, but he also learned many things about being an artist from his master Ghirlandaio. One important thing that Ghirlandaio may have taught Michelangelo was the difficult art of fresco painting. To make a fresco, an artist paints on wet plaster. As the plaster dries, the painting becomes part of the wall and lasts a very long time. This is because the paint won't flake off. Fresco painting came in very handy for Michelangelo later on when he became his most famous painting, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's first love was sculpture. When he was about 16, he went to study at a new school that was only for sculptors. It was started by the wealthiest and most powerful man in Florence, Lorenzo de' Medici. Lorenzo loved art of all kinds and paid artists to create works of art for him. People who paid artists in this way were also known as patrons. Lorenzo soon realized that Michelangelo had a special talent and invited him to live at his palace. The sculpture here was one of the first Michelangelo did at Lorenzo's school. Michelangelo studied as hard as he could to become a good sculptor, but it wasn't until he visited Rome that Michelangelo showed people how good he really was. Rome was another great art city in Italy. Michelangelo made a statue for a wealthy patron there that amazed everyone who saw it. The Pietro was so beautiful, people found it hard to believe it was done by such a young artist. Michelangelo was only 24 at the time. The people who ran the city of Florence heard about Michelangelo's beautiful statue 
As soon as he returned home, they asked him to carve a statue for Florence. They even gave Michelangelo a huge block of marble to work with. Michelangelo was very happy. He couldn't wait to start. He turned the block of marble into the most famous sculpture. The statue shows David ready to fight the giant Goliath. But David also shows that the people of Florence thought of themselves as strong, brave, clever, and ready to defend their city. During this time, the powerful ruler of the church in Rome heard about Michelangelo. Pope Julius II wanted to build a beautiful churches and statues in Rome so that the people would remember him. He asked Michelangelo to come there to work. At first, everything was fine. Pope Julius wanted Michelangelo to carve a group of statues for him. But soon after Michelangelo started, Julius lost interest in the project. He decided there was a much more important job he wanted done. Julius asked Michelangelo to paint a large ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo was disappointed. He told the Pope he was a sculptor, not a painter. Pope Julius didn't care what Michelangelo thought and practically forced him to begin painting. During the time it took to paint the ceiling, the Pope and Michelangelo had many arguments. After four years, Michelangelo finished the ceiling. It turned out to be one of the most wonderful paintings in the history of art. He painted many scenes from the Bible. One of the most famous scenes shows God giving life to Adam. The looks on the face of faces of God and Adam and the realistic way Michelangelo painted their bodies had never been seen in a painting before. Suddenly Michelangelo became known as one of the greatest painters of the world. After the Sistine Chapel ceiling was finished, Michelangelo went on to create many other beautiful and important works of art, including plans for building the famous dome on top of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. One of the things that made Michelangelo such a great artist was his ability to give a special energy and strength to the people he painted and sculpted. Even though the statue of Moses is sitting very still, Michelangelo was able to give him a feeling of great power. Michelangelo lived to be nearly 89 years old. He was working on a sculpture called the Rodanini Pietro just a few days before he died. Michelangelo felt the human body was the most important subject an artist could paint or sculpt. He spent much of his life studying nature and science in order to make his works of art as lifelike as possible. Recently, Michelangelo's paintings in the Sistine Chapel were cleaned. When years of grime were removed, people were surprised to find that Michelangelo used much more color in his paintings than could be seen before. You can find some of his art in Florence, Italy, Milan, Italy, Rome, Italy, and Belgium.